Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us ahead of your gig tonight. For sure. Um, uh, you've had phenomenal success um, with your band, I think, since 2012, is it right, when you first yeah. formed. Um, so it'd be really great to hear from you a little bit about the band and your influences. Um, so maybe you can tell me first about, you know, what it was like growing up in Iceland and things that just outside of Reykjavik. Yeah. Um, and how that kind of shaped the band, the band that we see today. Sure. Um... So we're from a, a small town called Morsospais, which is uh, just a few miles out of the capital, Reykjavik. Um, small town of like eight, eight or nine thousand people. Um, and I kind of, you know, started writing songs when I was 13, 14. Um, taught myself how to play guitar and was very much into uh, well, a lot of British bands, for example, you know, very much into classic rock at the moment. And, um, and I met David and Danny from the band in school when I was 14 and we kind of all shared the same love for for classic rock and, and that kind of style of music and um, a few years later we, we started playing playing together you know as a hobby at first and, and then kind of you know I started uh, trying to play every gig we could you know cover gigs and, and all kinds of gigs in Iceland and then in 2012 we really say you know let's focus on original music and um, so I think late 2012 started the band and pretty much right away had great success back in Iceland um, and then about a little over two years ago we we were signed by Atlantic Records and, and moved to the US so it's kind of you know the last I would say three three and a half years have kind of been you know in the, in the fast lane and and how would you characterize your music? You know, people sort of use the labels like bluesy folk. You know, mm -hmm. how would you characterize it? And what would you say? You know, the specific kind of music influences. Um, I'm sure you can label it many ways, but um, for me, it's really, you know, I write very different songs. So it's not only rock and roll, and I don't really, I don't try to limit myself to genres. I think you know, music doesn't really have boundaries, mm -hmm. and there's no need to. So so I just try to you know. Uh, each each song has has value, and uh, I just try to follow uh, the song to uh, wherever it goes. And, and so you can uh, I don't know really I don't really label it as as rock and roll or or folk and and uh, country or indie. There's so many genres now that you yeah. know I don't even know where where to begin. But um, that's fine if people want to do that. That's fine for for me. It's really just you know. Staying true to uh, what I'm doing and not not trying to you know limit myself. Mm. And you guys are currently based now in, in Texas, right? But we actually uh, relocated to Nashville. Ah, but okay. Yeah, we've been in, in Austin, Texas, for about uh, well the first year in in America. We were there. Yeah. And so, how is it coming to Europe now? And maybe you can tell me the rest of your about the rest of your tour here. It's been a thrill. Um, our first Europe tour was was last fall and. Uh, just an amazing experience. Obviously, we've focused a lot on the U.S. in the last uh, few years. So coming over here and just, you know, playing for a full house every night, you know, people singing along. It's a special experience, exactly, especially when you're, like, um, visiting some of these places for the first time. And uh, that's kind of a, you know, a unique feeling, having a full house singing your songs back at you. I mean, so far it's been great, really, truly. I mean, last time around, the venues weren't, that big so also I felt like yeah. you know the crowd was amazing because you know you had your hardcore fans yeah. so that's great you know but um but this time around as well I mean Paris was something else uh it's really jumping I mean that was on a Friday night too so you can you know hopefully yeah, this yeah. would be great it's still Tuesday but you know you can't you only have so many so many days in the in the week um London is always a thrill this is our our third show here pretty much in in the last like seven or eight months um played Camden every time and it's been it's been a, a thrill every time just uh, amazing crowd um, 
so very excited about tonight. A lot of energy, hopefully, you know. Yeah, sorry, it can't be a bit nicer weather. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I don't complain because I just came from from my home country, Iceland. So uh, okay. what I kind of used to say is, uh, is if it doesn't, if the wind isn't blowing, I'm I'm okay. Yeah, know? yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Too used to that back home. And um, you've had had great success with your album last year, AB. Um, so what have you got set for 2017 and beyond? Um, hopefully get into the studio this year, you know, I've been writing for the next album and, uh, and, uh, we have a pretty packed year ahead of us. Um, we'll be going on tour with the Lumineers in, in March, uh, around the U S and Canada and then festival season and which will be, you know, U S mostly and, and Europe. So I'm excited about that. And then probably fall tour. So it's a pretty busy schedule but like I said you know hopefully fit in some some studio time yeah and I see that um quite a lot of your music's been featured in tv shows and stuff and I think um in the second trade of a Logan so yeah. you know has that been like a, a big part of you know your deciding which um tv ads or films or whatever to collaborate with you know is that how has that been as, as part of your music kind of I mean I think it, it's a really uh I think it's great exposure, you know, in today's mm. world. And I'm not very involved in all that. I don't really watch a lot of TV, but I know that it's good exposure. And we, we've seen a reaction, you know, from from a lot of people, especially maybe people that, you know, didn't hear or didn't know the music before, or, you know, maybe mm. some groups that wouldn't have been exposed to the music. So I think that's a great thing, you know, that's, um, uh, yeah, definitely a good thing. But I'm, I'm not very much involved, to be honest, you know, in, in that mm. whole process. And I've got to ask, you know, you've sort of been spending a lot of time in the US and, you know, lots of stuff going on politically with Trump and kind of uh, reaction here here in London. How has it been for you kind of seeing the, you know, that unfold for your time in the US and now coming back down to Europe? I mean, I'm I'm kind of shocked, I like, think, like, like pretty much everyone else. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully... You know, like people, we've seen people, you know, coming together and, uh, you know, just, uh, so you, all you can do, right? Spread the love and and hope for the better. And maybe it's sort of lastly, um, you know, what's what's been the, the biggest highlight of, of, of your of your career with, with the band so far? Wow, that's kind of difficult, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, a lot of, a lot of highs. Um, because really, you know, the last three years have been an adventure for us and, and things have happened really quickly. Um, I could name you a few venues, you know, that we've loved mm -hmm. performing at in some festivals. We love playing at Red Rocks in, in, in the U.S. I hope to do that again. Um, like I said, you know, our first Europe tour last, last fall was very special, you know, coming to some of these countries for the first time. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a privilege really to just be able to travel the world play these all these new places and, and come to show and people know your song they know your music and then and then at the same time you know to be able to release an album and, and millions of people uh, across the world get to hear it so that's yeah. that's really I don't know if that answers exactly what you're trying to get but uh, you know in some ways yeah and I, and I guess you know you're seeing music really change in that way so I guess it's like getting that balance that you have wild success online and you know youtube especially but then also like the live bands are like, yeah. key part of you know no absolutely i mean it has you know qualities and 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 it's also a shame you know with with recording sales and other things but yeah for exposure i think it's you know today's world music is very accessible and that's a plays a huge part especially for a band from iceland to begin with you know mm. so those things as well as the sync on music and in TV and films and, and whatnot, so so absolutely. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank and you. Enjoy the gig tonight. I will. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Now say you want me 
Set me free. That was long, baby, free. That was long, set me free.